Hey everyone and welcome to my channel Cakes by MK. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a super delicious Italian meringue buttercream. Now Italian meringue buttercream is one of the more difficult buttercreams to make but I'm going to take you guys through the process step by step and giving you helpful tips along the way so that you'll be a pro in no time. Italian meringue buttercream is totally worth the extra effort. It's such a delicious and decadent buttercream to make. It's probably one of my most favorite buttercreams to make. I just don't make it as often as I would like just because I'm, you know, normally in a rush and Italian meringue buttercream does take slightly longer, but it's definitely worth the effort. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Also, if you're new to my channel, please click the subscribe button below and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you're updated whenever I upload a new video. Apart from that, stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy this video. So the ingredients for our Italian meringue buttercream today are some unsalted butter, white granulated sugar, eggs, some vanilla essence or extract, a pinch of salt and some water. And I will have the full quantities to all these ingredients in the description box below. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to separate my egg yolks from my egg whites because we only want the egg whites for our Italian meringue buttercream. So a really easy way to do that is to simply just use some clean hands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get two extra bowls. So one of them is going to have our egg yolks and one of them is going to have our egg whites. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crack one of my eggs into one of the bowls. And now I'm just going to use my hand to separate my egg yolk from my egg white. Now the advantage to doing it this way is that your hands are soft so they don't have any kind of sharp edges or anything so it's less likely to crack the egg yolk. And then once they're separated, I'm simply going to get my egg white and I'm going to put that into my mixer. And then I'm just going to do the exact same thing with the other four eggs that I've got. Now, you do want to do this one at a time, so I wouldn't recommend doing like a whole lot at once. And the reason for this is because just in case when you're cracking one of your eggs, if your egg yolk breaks, you don't want to kind of spoil all the other egg whites that you've just separated from the egg yolk. So by doing it one at a time, you kind of, um, you know, protect your other egg whites from getting any egg yolks in them. So now that my egg whites are all done, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a lid onto my container with my egg yolks in them and just pop them straight into the fridge. So just remember to put your egg yolks straight into the fridge because this is going to help keep them nice and fresh. And then I'm just going to wash my hands and then we'll be back to continue with our buttercream. Now the next part to making our buttercream is boiling some sugar. Now this is the part which kind of scares people away a little bit because the sugar does get very very hot so you have to be really careful with it and you don't want to get it anywhere on your skin because it can give you a third degree burn so you do just have to be really careful with it but as long as you're you know just following basic kitchen safety then you should be absolutely fine. Now what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get my sugar and my water and I'm going to put that into my saucepan that I've got here. And I'm just going to mix that together with my spoon. Now once that's nicely mixed together, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the heat. So I'm going to let this boil at about you know, like a medium kind of heat. And then what you want to do is you just want to let it sit. So a key thing here is don't mix it. So if you do mix it, it's going to kind of start to crystallize and turn into this, you know, lumpy crystallized sugar mixture, which you don't want. You want to maintain its nice liquid consistency. And to do that, you want to just let it sit without mixing it. And you want to boil this until it reaches about 115 degrees Celsius or 230 to 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Now to measure that, I'm going to be using a candy thermometer. So I'm simply just going to get my thermometer and place it onto the side of my pan. 
And that's basically going to let me kind of monitor the temperature that my mixture is at. If you don't have a candy thermometer, then not to worry. What you want to do is once your mixture starts to boil around the edges, then just let it boil for about three minutes and then you should be good to go. Now, making an Italian meringue buttercream is kind of like a timing game. So what I'm going to do is once my mixture starts to boil around the edges, then I'm going to turn on my mixer to start beating up my egg whites. Now your egg whites are going to kind of become this nice frothy white color. And then what you wanna do is you wanna start slowly pouring your mixture once it's ready into your frothy egg whites. So basically when our um, mixture starts to kind of bubble, it's gonna take a couple of more minutes. And during those couple of minutes, our egg whites will start to mix up and they'll be ready to go once this mixture is all done. So just keep that in mind. So now that my mix is starting to bubble around the edges there, I'm going to turn on my mixer. So my sugar mixture is at the right temperature now, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start slowly pouring it into my egg whites and I'm going to have that on about a medium speed, so don't have it too high because you don't want your sugar mixture to kind of splatter everywhere because it's really, really hot. So just about a medium speed and what you'll notice is your meringue will start to become nice and kind of marshmallowy, which is what you want. And basically what's happening here is the really hot sugar is going to start slowly cooking those egg whites. So yeah, now I'm just gonna slowly start pouring it into my egg whites. Now once all of the sugar mixture has been poured in, if you feel your bowl, it will be really, really hot. So what you wanna do now is you wanna turn up the speed to about a medium high speed, and you wanna let this whip now for about probably 15 to 20 minutes until your bowl is at room temperature. So if you don't wanna speed up this process, you can get something cold and kind of put it around your bowl, but basically you just wanna let this whip now until it comes to room temperature. Now once your meringue is at room temperature, the next thing to do is to put your butter into your meringue. Now if your meringue is taking forever to come to room temperature, then you can pop your bowl into the fridge for about 5 minutes or so. And this will just help speed up the process a little bit and then you can continue whipping it. And when it comes to your butter, just make sure that your butter is at the right consistency. So the consistency that you want is a nice soft butter that's not melted, but it is soft to the touchy, so you should be able to kind of just squish it between your fingers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my mixer back on and just slowly add the butter to my mixture one little cube at a time. Now I just want to stop there for a second and show you guys. At one point it's going to start to kind of look like it's curdling towards the end of when you've almost finished adding all of your butter. But don't worry, this is absolutely normal and this is actually what's supposed to happen. So don't worry, you just keep mixing and keep adding the butter and then it'll turn into this beautiful silky Italian meringue buttercream. Now once you finish adding all of your butter, you should be left with a beautiful Italian meringue buttercream. Now this buttercream is unflavored, so this is where you wanna kinda go ahead and add whichever flavors you'd like into your buttercream. So today I'm gonna be putting a teaspoon of vanilla essence. You can use vanilla extract as well, or vanilla bean. And then I'm also going to be putting a pinch of salt. And that is basically it. So our Italian meringue buttercream is all done. It looks really nice and silky smooth. And I'm gonna show you guys soon how well it pipes. Now, one thing to keep in mind with Italian meringue buttercream is that it does lose its consistency quite quickly. So if you're not gonna be using it straight away, then you know when you do come to icing your cake or your cupcakes, just make sure to kind of re-whip it a bit. So either do that by hand or on a low speed on your mixer. And that will help to get it to that nice smooth consistency again and remove any air bubbles. Um, but yeah, apart from that, your Italian meringue buttercream is ready to go.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make Italian meringue buttercream. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this and thanks again for watching Cakes by MK.